So for those of you viewing my portfolio, I'm going to, first of all, thank you for, for viewing. Um, so I'm just going to take you as quickly as I can through an application that I've been working on. This is nothing that's a production application. It's just a, an access database that I'm, it's in, shall we say, perpetually a work in progress. And I use it as a a way to kind of test out new skills as I learn them and just kind of, I need some some vehicle to, to put everything into. Uh, so this this is by no means a production application. It, there are features that are certainly missing. I'm adding to things all the time. So this is not a finished product by any means, but uh, it'll give you just kind of a sample of what I'm able to do and what I've done in the past. Uh, so uh, let me show you the database first and actually, so every sample database I see out there, whenever you're taking a, an access course or a SQL server, the sample databases are usually something along the lines of customers table and an orders and an order lines and a product. So that's fine and good. I mean, it's a business environment, but I thought I'd be a little bit more unique and do a database based on another passion of mine, which is sports. And so what if we had some fictional um hockey league mainly or basketball you can even use it with football and you wanted a database to keep track of the teams and games and schedules and things like that so i'm gonna take you you can look through all these there's a lot of queries and forms in here i'm just gonna do the basics here um there's a table with teams team information um there's a table with uh, with the games, and this is basically where the league schedule is. And so week number, if it's a football season, try to be a little bit flexible there. Uh, long distance, if you are, let's say it's a hockey league and you have, you know, Idaho is playing New York and Philadelphia, you want to schedule those games together in one road trip. So this is just kind of a flag that we'll see in a moment where that's where that's used. Um, of course, you have to have conferences, and within conferences, you have divisions. Uh, let's just close this. Too many things open here. There we go. Said too many things open there. Uh, within conferences, you have divisions. Within divisions, you have teams. Again, you can set this up or not set it up. Um, the big thing is the team, the teams table, and the games table. Game dates. Again, this is just to make sure that you're not scheduling a date that's, you know, way out of the current season or whatever. So it's a little bit of error checking there. I actually had this in a combo box and the combo box stopped working for whatever reason. So right now there's just a text box in the scheduling screen. Uh, and you see many games don't have, are, are not scheduled. So this is all the games that will be played. Not all of them yet are scheduled. So with that, let's just actually go into the application. Let me just close these so we don't want to end the tables we don't run into any problems here so this is again the main menu again nothing fancy here just you know one of these days i might compile this as a standalone app and what, when that day comes i'd like to have a menu here uh just so we can kind of show uh so let's go to add a game now this we can maybe or maybe not schedule a game but i can schedule spokane at let's say idaho and you know i can add this game and uh, I'll take you through a little bit of the code later. Um, maybe there's a home and home and we want to swap. Maybe this one we'll put in a, a date for, uh, New, Year's, New Year's Day. Uh, right now, there's no check for the dates. I had that game dates table and I had this in a combo box because what I was trying to do is put together uh, logic that would... Um, that was, was trying to put together logic where you could schedule it like, like an Outlook calendar where you could see all the available dates. And that that's, that's still a work in progress. But you can schedule it with a date, uh, with, with a date in advance. So um, let's go, let's, um, let's say we're done here. It's going to close that and open it up. And again, I, I don't have all the error checking in here yet. Uh, I've been working on this database for a couple of months now, and every, every few days, I'll every, every week or two, I'll add something in here. Um, let's look at the league schedule. This is one I'm particularly proud of. Um, it's very it's a simple interface. I, I can search the league schedule. If I want to see all of Seattle's games, let's say, 
put Seattle, all games where Seattle's either the home or away teams. I'll click or. If I click and, nothing's going to happen here because there's no team, game where Seattle's the home and away team. Um, if I want to see all of Seattle's away games, let's say, or all, let's say all of all of Spokane's away games, uh, I'll put, I'll leave this one blank and I'll select or. So home team is Spokane or nothing. If I want to see their away games, well, I'll swap and I'll and again put or. If I want to see the matchup between any two teams, let's say Spokane and Saskatoon, let's say, uh, I can put the both in there and say and, and this will only show Spokane at Saskatoon, or I can swap and do and. Uh, or is not going to mean much here. Uh, to, you know, Saskatoon away or Spokane at home, that doesn't have much of a meaning there. Um, I'll go through the code for that later. Uh, that, that's kind of the, the, the big thing here. Team games, you can see... Uh, the games for a particular team. Again, if you, this is also a way to schedule. So if I want to schedule this game on this date. Okay, it went away. That's because... Well, I, that was Grand Rapids. This is... Uh, I think this might be the one... I think this might be the one I just scheduled. Uh, it shows on the scheduled games. I can filter these by away games. Remember I mentioned there was a long distance? If, if you're scheduling... There we go. Uh, if, if you're doing scheduling, uh, you want to see all of that team's long-distance opponents, whether it's long-distance or not, of course, is a matter of opinion. Uh, I would say if you're in Quebec, you know, you're, you're going to want these West Coast games, try to schedule these together or, I mean, in, in, in groups. Right? So you, there's a reason why you would want to filter out just the long-distance games. Uh, so I think that's it for this. And you can kind of do just away games, away and long distance. I don't know why you would do long distance home and away, but that's you can do that if you want. Return to the main menu. Let's see, where did we leave off? Um, game count. The only reason I put this in was when I'm entering games, not necessarily scheduling, but entering games, I want to make sure they have the right number of home and away games. That's really the only purpose. This doesn't really serve much of a purpose other than that. Um, what else? Team games we did. Oh, so if you want to play games. So now I can select a date and this, this, this box gives me any date that is scheduled, has a game scheduled on it. If I double click on, let's say November 3rd, I know it's past November 3rd now, but, um, then I can double click a game on November 3rd to select it. Now you see it fills in the abbreviations for this book, for the home and away team. Uh, these are team strengths if i want to simulate a game um then you know I, I put in the strengths of different teams and so where they are relative to each other this is again arbitrary um you know the, the, it kind of makes one team more likely to win a game than the other if i play the game so i'm playing spokane at idaho on november 3rd so it's basically good oh the game's been played already okay uh this one there we go Okay, so again, this is, I, I just simulated the game as a best of five. So Calgary won this one over Grand Rapids. Uh, so I'm just going to say yes, record the result. Um, if I try to select the game again and say play, you see the game's played already. So that logic we do have, it's, it's not going to allow you to play a game twice. That's pretty much all there is. Okay. Um, but I'll return to menu here. And that's pretty much it in terms of the interface. Um, let me just show you a little bit of the code. I mean, there's a lot of code in here, so uh, I'm not going to go too deeply into this. But let's say uh, what was I want to go to... Ah, this is the game search form. This is where we did the game in a way swap. I'm going to go into design view here. And so if you click or an and is what you click to actually view the schedules and the event procedure I means a lot of, there's a mixture of sql some of these i have as stored queries which kind of focus some function as a view would in sql server but um th this is the logic when, when you click the and button so and or or is what you click to actually do the search what it's going to do is going to call a game search subroutine and it's going to take the and or. So if you select it or, these two queries are basically, I mean, they're select queries. They're identical except for or versus and. 
and it, depending on which button you selected. And then we select the, the record source of the form to this SQL statement. Uh, let's see, there was a, one other that, uh, well, we do the play games. Oh, no, uh, add new game. This is the one where we're adding games to the schedule. So this is going to require an insert query. And again, you know, we, we, we check. I don't know why I didn't name that button. Um, but basically, CBO, home, CBO, away. These buttons, actually, let's go to the form. Uh, the add, I'm going to go to the add new game. And so these basically, these select games from, oh, directly from the teams table. All right. So basically it's, it's just the insert query that that's, that's the, the, that is used for that uh, current DB dot execute. So basically we execute this query against the access database. And I think those are all the, I mean, all the main things. I mean, I, I could spend a whole hour going into all the ins and outs here. Oh, maybe one more piece of code here. This, we're going back to the team games form. Now I have a sub form. This is the sub form with two tabs in it, one for unscheduled games and one for scheduled games, because you select the team in here. Uh, it says unbound, but I, I select this at runtime. Again, I'm, I'm putting a select query, so I don't bind it to anything. Um, but the sub form, so what happens, you can schedule a game in here, day of week, um, this game text. Now, game text, this doesn't appear in any tables. It, it's the control source. But if I go to the record source, the, the scheduled games is the query inside this form. And so, you know, what I like to do is I kind of use queries kind of like a view in SQL Server because there's no way I'm typing this all into, into, into the code form, the VBA code. It's just, I mean, so I have this huge query here. If, if we uh, game text, so it's right here. This is what I was looking for earlier. Home team city add space home team name as home text away text and home text as game text so game text if we were to open this query actually wait, it is a query I can just open it yeah so it creates this it creates this game text uh by concatenating the well it creates away text by concatenating away team city and team name home text by concatenating home team city and team name and game text by concatenating away text and home text with the ampersand in the middle. That, that's what I was looking for earlier. Um, once, once you put, uh, put the game date in, and then once this, I was on the wrong subform. game date, once this, this is what I was looking for, after update brings you to this whole big thing. You know, we, we do this SQL, um, make sure that there's a cart, there's a team selected. We're going to find that game in the schedule. And then basically we're going to do this whole selection. Um, and this is the, this is the logic that allows us to not double schedule a game because what we're doing is we're basically saying, okay, I want to find all the team, all the games that this team is playing on this date. If the record count is greater than is, is greater than one, in other words, there's already a game scheduled on that date, we're going to cancel it. So, and then of course I have to do the whole re refresh thing. So I, I think that kind of covers everything, well, not everything, but it covers all the basic uh, aspects of the database. And so hopefully you found it enlightening or at least unique. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.